hate cameras. <laughs> Just don't think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Should I put it? Maybe. Uh, should I put it? Okay. That's okay. 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 And um, so the idea is that of you know, explaining, I, I don't want to ask you questions. I would okay. Like you to first give a picture of the problematic uh, aspects of um, our work, you know, building relationships. Uh, is it easy? If it's not, I do give a Okay. Do you want me to introduce myself in four words and the work that we're doing? Okay. Then you close a bit and then you start to Okay. Uh, my name is uh, Galit Hanin, and I'm uh, a wife of uh, Shai. We've been together for 18 years. We have three kids, and we live in Haifa, who is a mixed city. And we have a business a center that is called Center for Council Insight that deals with uh, developing dialogue and relationships between people. Uh, so uh, part of the work that we do, we work with organizations, uh, individuals, couples, and also Jewish and Arabs. And um, for my experience, the first time I met an Arab Muslim woman was in a workshop we set together and uh, the method that we work in is uh, sharing the stories, the life stories, the personal stories, the pain of living in this country, sharing the same land. And after uh, being with this woman in a few workshops, we became, and seeing her, and seeing and listening to her story, we actually became like soul sisters. And she's uh, a part of our home now. And our oldest daughter, she's 13. She's uh, learning Arabic, and she had an examination. And she asked me, Mom, is it tough uh, in Israel? Because she travels all over. Uh, I need some help in learning Arabic. And uh, she phoned her, and Itaf a minute later came and teached, teached her Arabic. And uh, this connection was uh, available thanks for sitting together listening to each other's stories. And uh, sometimes in this field, it's really challenging uh, bringing uh, Arabs and Jews together. Uh, the easy part is bringing uh, Arabs and Jews that are for, from the left wing, that have the same uh, maybe wantings or ideas, but bringing uh, people from the mainstream or even from the right wing to sit together and listen to the stories is quite uh, a challenge. We had uh, one year ago a workshop of three days of Jewish uh, Arab and Arabs leaders, women and men, that accepted to come and sit together for three days. And uh, some of them came from the white uh, right wing and uh, from the center of opinions. And for them it was the first experience actually sitting with Arab people, listening to their stories. So uh, living in Haifa, having this uh, challenge of bringing them together, is, it's one of the main challenges. And when we work in schools, we had a, a big program in uh, schools, an Arab school and a Jewish uh, school that shared this kind of uh, workshop of telling the stories. And it was in the Jewish school and in the Arab schools. And after 10 meetings that each school have done by himself, they met together. And it was amazing to see this, the kids, fourth grade kids, that met for the same time, although they live in re really nearly in neighborhoods. And the common lang language was the language of the circle. And uh, funding for these kinds of uh, projects that allow people to connect and to sit together, sometimes it's really uh, challenging. Um, but from our experience, when people meet, 
and see each other and hear the story, the possibility of dialogue begin, begins to happen and also to, to create um, a new history um, that we want for our kids because if we look at the heart of ourselves and our neighbors, the, the one thing for the kids are the same, to live really good life in this amazing uh, country that we share. But when people sit together in council, they are able after one, two, three meetings to, to maintain the relationship. Although it's really challenging because daily life and all what's happening here is not allowing it easily. So it needs a process, it, it's, it needs maintenance, and, uh, and it happens. Uh, there's few ways to uh, create this kind of meetings between uh, Jews and Arabs that we do. Uh, first, it's projects that are uh, promoted and uh, funded by the municipality, or like the project that we're doing in Beta Geffen with the Holiday of Holidays, that all social organizations in Haifa received two workshops for their organization and they had a good, a big uh, conference that each one came and they had a workshop together. Another way is uh, calling individuals through people that know people in the communities and they invite them to come and sit together and hear the stories. And we had also one experience in a kindergarten in Haifa who was a mixed kindergarten of Arabs and Jews that we had the parents come and sit together before Nakba Day and Independence Israeli Day. That, that was one of the holidays that they didn't celebrate together because of the issues that the Arab, it's the diversity between the two. And they asked us to come and have a circle with them concerning that event and how, to, how we can sit together with the pain that one side is, is feeling. And uh, it was amazing because it, we had uh, an evening meetings with Jews and Arabs, not lots of Arab came. It was a little bit difficult because only five uh, accepted the invitation to come. And uh, one of the Arab women at the end said, it was the first time I felt that somebody was listening from the other side, listening and seeing uh, my pain. So uh, that are the possibilities to create these kinds of uh, meetings through organizations, through individuals, and through uh, people who really want to make a difference and live other life here together. Uh, the holiday of uh, holidays for me, uh, as a person who lives in Haifa, uh, is first of all uh, showing how, f how the place that I live in is so uh, unique and uh, allowing a different thing to happen in it, uh, of people living together, sharing uh, the same uh, services, the same uh, views, the same land, and uh, enjoying it and uh, celebrating it and that every voice has a place in this uh, reality. And also it's a good opportunity to explore my kids uh, to the diversity that we have in the city because in daily life, although we live in Haifa, we rarely have it. So it's also an opportunity to explore and to show the kids what we have in this amazing city of people creating and uh, living uh, together and also ex exploring my other people from uh, my community, my parents, for example, who doesn't live in Haifa, and that uh, that's a reason to come and see what's, what we have here as an opportunity. So the way of council is uh, a way of communication and dialogue that its uh, sources are the Native Americans. Uh, we, we received it from uh, the USA, from a dear man whose name is uh, Jack Zimmerman that started it uh, 40 years ago working with kids from different cultures, uh, Hispanic, uh, um, Ameri white American, black American, and he looked for a way to communicate between the kids and to create a communication while uh, st studying together. And uh, at that time, he worked with the Native American people, and he got the inspiration to this work from them. And he brought it to the school he managed. 
And uh, actually what happened is that the kids started to communicate with each other, become friends. Uh, the rates uh, of, uh, of uh, their, their grades came up. There was less violence in school and people came and started to ask him, what are you doing? So uh, the way of counsel is a group method of communication and creating a dialogue by sharing the personal stories. Uh, telling your story and uh, listening and uh, talking from the heart. And by sharing the story, a space of uh, healing is created and people are uh, able to see each other without judgment and really what is the essence of the person. And what I really loved by meeting this way nine years ago, we've been doing it for nine years here in Israel, is that uh, you can be yourself in a way that in the daily life, if you have a certain image or role, you can't be. And when you sit in a circle and talk and speak from your heart and listen from your heart, you can uh, show uh, sides of yourself that are not shown in regular life. Uh, in one school when we worked at, uh, with 12 graders, um, a, one child at the break told, asked another uh, child and she told her, I'm so happy I came to the circle because I didn't know that you, ha you are sometimes also sad. I thought you are all, all the time uh, happy. So it reveals other sides of yourself without being uh, too intimate or frightening. So uh, we do it uh, with the couples and with group of people, also with the team building. Uh, I'm a human resource manager in uh, my profession uh, in order to create change and to uh, make the cooperation uh, wider and bigger between people. So the way is sitting in circle. We use a lot of movement also and other way of expression besides uh, talking. We, we use a lot of uh, peace games. And uh, by creating this space of listening, we work with a talking piece. So each one has the space that he is like the center of the world. Everybody is listening. There is no right, there is no wrong. There, there is the, his story that is alive. So that's part of the way. I have a story that it actually changed, uh, changed our life, uh, Shai, my husband's and mine, because when I started working with this way of counsel and when I learned it, um, he wasn't in the issue. He said, it's your own, uh, your own business, your own issue. And then one, one time I told him there is a possibility. You can go and sit in a circle and see what it is. And he said, okay, it's uh, against what I think I would do, so I, I'll try it. And for him, he sat in a circle of Jewish and Arab together, and when it was in the way of counsel, he heard the story of one Arab uh, man, and he, when he came back at home, he told me, I found the way uh, that I should walk in, and this is the way of counsel, because it was the first time for me that I could sit in the same room with an Arab man hearing his story and not feeling fear or the terror that he wants to be on me. And after that moment, he said, I'm with you. Tell me whatever you want to do. We are together in it. And this has actually became a way of our life, a way that you, we communicate as a couple, uh, with our kids, in our business. So that's a story that will go for, with me forever. And when I tell him that story, I always see the moment when he came back home and he told me that and we sat in the kitchen and it was like the beginning. And it was like a beginning of a, of a new decade in our family and the way we walk in this reality. And uh, we actually then decided to build up our own business, the Center of Council Insight, from that moment.